I'm Rob Reed from Data Video, and today I'm going to talk to you about the 3200 series, which is our live event production switchers. The 3200 series actually comes in two forms, the HS3200, which is the one I'm showing you here today, as well as the SE3200, which is a 2U rack system with controller. The 3200 series is perfect for any live event, including sports production, esports, meetings and convention, any live event. For fixed applications or installed applications, the 3200 series is perfect for worship, for government, theater, even corporate events. The 3200 series is great for live event producers because it has 12 inputs and nine outputs. It provides a lot of flexibility for live event production. Today, I'm going to be highlighting a few of those features and let you know how live event producers are using the 3200 series. The 3200 series has input scaling. What does that mean for live event producers? It means that you don't have to match all your frame rates and resolutions of your inputs. You can mix and match those video resolutions, which is great for live event producers because you never know what your clients are gonna give you. Today, I'm gonna show you all the different types of video signals we have coming into the 3200 series. For example, input five is a media player at 720p. Input six is a Blackmagic cinema camera at 1080p. And then input nine is the GoPro camera right here. Input 10 is the PTC 140 camera. And that one happens to be running at 1080i. Then on input 11, I have my laptop. Great for importing your PowerPoint presentations. And then lastly, I actually have my iPad sitting right here. So those are the different types of video sources that you can put into the 3200. And what's great is you can see all those video sources are accepted and you can mix and it's ready to produce your live event with the 3200 series. The 3200 series has multiple assignable outputs or aux bus switching. Why is that important for live event producers? Say I have multiple screens, I wanna send different content to the different screens. For example, this is SDI out one, uh, assigned on the 3200 and I have a composited shot. So I have my PowerPoint presentation and the live camera that can be recorded as a backup or I can ISO record a camera. To access the assignable outputs or the aux bus switching, I hit the menu button, go to the outputs. You can see I have SDI outs one, two, three, four, and five. HDMI output, these are fully assignable. To access the cross points on here to do the hot butt switching, you hit the FS key here and that assigns one through nine outputs. And then you can switch that output source by selecting here. And now I'm going through outputs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, all the way up to 12. So it gives you a lot of flexibility for switching that. Notice that when I have the aux bus here, and I go back to the menu and I switch back and forth to the main functions, it's not affecting any of my aux bus out. So allowing you to have multiple flexibility for live event producers. So again, output uh, switching, aux bus switching on the 3200 series is important for live event producers. The 3200 series has multiple layers of composition. What do I mean by composition? For example, on the bus here, we have four keyers a logo composition, and two DSKs. A keyer can be either a PIP window, as was shown here, or it can actually be a lower third graphic coming from my iPad. So now I actually have five layers of composition on my background layer, and then I have my three PIPs plus my lower third graphic. So again, I can add more layers of composition by using these other keys. Let's look at how you access the different layers. For example, this is the keyer access. If I hit enter, I can go in here. This actually shows a PIP window, but keyer four is a Luma key. So that's how you access the different keyers in the menu structure. I can also go in and as you can see with my PIP windows here, they're sized and cropped. So for example, here's the position, here's the size, I can do borders. For example, if I wanted to add a border to key three, I can do that. I can add various different borders and shades and things like that. Um, I prefer it much cleaner. But this is a way of controlling your PIP and composition layers. This again is perfect for live event producers that want to do maybe a panel discussion or esports producers where you have multiple players, you have shoutcasters, you have your gaming consoles. So there's lots of flexibility with the 3200 series using the layers of composition. 
The Data Video 3200 series is perfect for live event producers. Again, it has input scaling, has multiple outputs, assignable outputs, aux outputs, great for doing live event production. It has multiple layers of composition. We didn't talk a whole lot about it, but the HS series has the built-in streaming and recording. Again, if you're producing live events, sporting events, esports, corporate applications, meetings and conventions, worship, government applications, many, many applications. Be sure to check out the HS3200 and SC3200 series at datavideo.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.